We all are very thankful to have you here today. Friday at University City High School, we walked out of our classes. A civil disobedience to the fact of the acquitted trial of Jason Stockley and the death of Anthony Lamar Smith. We are here today to raise awareness and learn more about these cases and convictions involving police officers killing black people and walking away freely. This morning, we would like to share our stories, reflections, and feelings about what is happening in our community. And we also have some plans on what we can do to change it for the better. Our first person is Allie Mitchell, and she will be presenting a poem called Being Black in America. How does it feel to be black in America? Let me tell you, it ain't easy. The system wants you to fail or end up in jail. Also, they want to see you die covered up with lies. America has made African Americans who died lives a number, not names, nor honor them. And our sisters and brothers in jail turned into slaves all over again with no humanity. We are looked at as violent individuals with anger problems, but our attitude has a different meaning. Our attitude is a won't back down kind of attitude. We are strong and will fight for what's right or our beliefs. Culture that is stolen. We are described as ratchet, ghetto, in a negative or derogatory way. Yet many try to obtain our culture or adopt it. From the melanin in our skin, to the clothes and shoes we rock, to the terms we use in our speech and the hair we wear, and the music that we listen to. Lastly, our skin is feared to be abominable. That's why they shoot and kill our beloved African American race down. But really, our skin is just beautiful and powerful. We shine bright in the sunshine with beautiful and radiant shades of brown. America, the land of the free, home of the brave, more like the home and the brainless and enslaved. Liberty and justice for all? Where was our people's justice or liberties at the scene where they were being shot down in the streets by police? Police are supposed to protect us, yet they put our lives in jeopardy. Where was our justice for our family who were put in jail without a fair trial? I want my justice. I want justice for all. And we won't get it back. And I want it back. And after this, I want everybody to repeat after me. I want everybody to repeat after me. We are black. We are strong, powerful, and proud. Say it with me. We are black. We are strong. We are powerful and proud. And that's all I have to say. Right, I have like a couple of things to say, just really short. Hello, I'm here today to address the feelings of Adriana, myself, and all of you. The things that happen in our community affects those in our in our communities affect those from the bottom up. We as young people and students need to come together to acknowledge what's going on and gain knowledge on how to help further push this movement. We U City kids are lions. Lions live and hunt together. They go after what they want and they attain it. Through everything that has happened, we need to stick together and educate ourselves to be more aware of our problems in our community and our school. Thank you. I'm going to start off with a quote from um, Benjamin Franklin. And it says, justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. So I feel like it needs to not just be black people, but as you see in the crowd, is white people here, Hispanic people here, like everybody needs to come together and everybody has to be on the same page so that we can make a difference. They tried to bury us not knowing we were seeds. <laughs> All lives matter, not just black lives, but if we want to save our black lives, first we need to start with ourselves. If we are out here killing each other, and make, we're making it harder for ourselves. We can't make a change until we stop killing each other. They're not gonna respect our lives until we respect our own. Okay. Well, I didn't really formally introduce myself, but my name is Adriana Albert. I am one of the leaders of You Woke, and I also am a sophomore at University City High School. I know it's very early, but um, me and my peers are very determined to speak out about the black community getting discriminated against and killed by police officers, and even worse, the fact that they are not getting convicted for situations that are clearly crimes. We are tired of hearing that another black person has been shot dead and is receiving no justice at all. We are tired of it. Someone needs to hear us, and someone will hear us. I was very blessed on Friday to have heard a very special African-American activist by the name of Brittany Packnett. She speaks on this subject specifically. She stated that your progress is not promised. 
Meaning we have done so many things, so many things to reach the solution. But then it happens again. Another police officer kills another black person and is not getting convicted for their crimes. This is bringing us backwards. It's almost like society is saying to the black community, hey, we told you not to speak up. We told you not to speak your mind. We told you to be quiet because your progress is not promised and we can snatch it all up from you. But not this time, uh-uh. This time we're gonna be heard. You wanna know why? Because we all, as one, as a community, are gonna help fight this battle together. Our voices are louder together because together, our power is more powerful than the people in power. Thank you. So now that we have shared our stories and reflections, we are very delighted to announce that throughout the week we'll be hoping we will be holding open discussions in our history classes and reflections of what we can do in our community of St. Louis. We have a seminar on what to do when you're getting approached by a police officer as a teenager. And throughout the year, we have a, the privilege of the University City the Police Department support, and we're asking them to come into our high schools and build relationship with the high school students. And this is only the beginning of our progress. I'm in the process of talking to a couple of other interested schools that would love to change their communities. I would love to work with all these schools to help build our communities up because together as teenagers, we are the new generation. We all make up St. Louis together as one. I would like to thank all the support behind you woke, such as Ms. Hill, Mr. Jeffries, the Dr. Harden, thank you, Ms. Lori, Ms. Chelsea, Ms. Christine, Ms. Natalie, and many more. I appreciate the overflowing support, especially the students that stay by my side on Friday. I really appreciate everything that everyone has done for today. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Christine Hendricks, and I have the pleasure of being able to serve on your school board. Um, I've also had the pleasure of being active um, in Ferguson and around St. Louis um, as far as uh, the liberation movement for black lives goes. And so um, I wanted to be able to share with you all um, something that we do a lot of times when we're closing out at, um, at our actions. And it's just a call for unity and a way to express that we are in this together. And the only way, like Adriana said, she said it so well, the only way that we can get out of this is together. Our voices are louder together. So um, this is a chant by Asada Shakur, who is an activist um, in the 60s. Um, please look her up, do some research on her. Asada Shakur, uh, yes, related to Tupac, so look her up. Um, and so this is a chant that she said, and so it's a call and repeat. And so I'm gonna say the first line and you guys repeat after me. So it goes like that, okay? So. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and support each other. We have nothing to lose. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Ashe. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No 